All right, guys, I think everybody has a little hidey hole on their property or yard behind the shed, behind the garage, where they put stuff that could be useful, but they don't want to stare at the pile. Some people call it the junkyard. Some people call it the pile. But here's my spot behind the pole barn where everything goes. Scrap chunks of metal, old barn metal. Here's all the windows we got years ago for the greenhouse. They're underneath the metal. Cinder blocks from the maple boiler from year number one. Scrap our different miscellaneous chunks of chimney pipe. Now here's the uh, picnic table legs. Here's a pile of metal we bought on discount here and there at Menards or at the green store. I need posts right now to dig into the ground for the uh, raised beds. So this is my hidey hole. You can't ever see it. <laughs> but we get lots of stuff from here that we, is useful instead of throwing it away. So let me grab a couple posts here. Got a couple chunks of six by six. I don't know, chunk of oak six by six. So let's get some of this done. Careful, I'll cut your leg off. This is going to be building something for free because. You already had the screws? Well, the screws came out of the picnic table. There's a huge pile of them over there, too. So we'll use all the screws from the picnic table that was here that we disassembled. And we're going to use all just scrap milled pieces that would be turned into firewood. Raise beds for free. Really free. This one, right? All right, guys, we got the poles in. We've got the first two layers down. So that's it for today. We got some visitors coming. So we're gonna grill some food and hang out and relax for the evening. So we'll get some more done tomorrow, but time to have a little bit of fun.
Today's video was brought to you by Adelon. You guys know that I love solar lights. We get lots of them outside. I always talk about them. So I was super excited that they wanted to sponsor us. We've got the solar panel. We've got the lights. These connect with the solar panel. Super easy, just like that. It comes with a nice little remote with three different modes of lights on it. So that's going to be super fun. I am so excited about this guys. It's going to make the front of the cabin with the covered porch look super cool. And I can't wait to get them up. They're at a very awesome low price on Amazon. So be sure to check out the description box below to get yours. I called in a professional to install it because I don't trust myself. Excited to get these up guys. I love solar lights. <laughs> All right, guys, look what's on. Our Adlon lights that came on. There's a little timer button, two hours, four hours, six hours, or eight hours. Yeah, if you don't want to turn on and off with the solar, you know, the sun. <laughs> And then you can do different modes. Watch. You can do a slow flashing. A little bit faster. A medium flashing. And you can do a fast flashing. This is nightclub flashing. But these are super fun. I'd recommend checking them out if you like to hang out in your backyard or your front porch or anywhere. Super happy with these. Thank you, Adlin, for sponsoring today's video. We're very appreciative of it. And if you want to check it out, use the link below and get yourself some. I really like their low price and that they're super easy to install and that the bulbs are plastic. So they're not going to break if you drop them. Check out the link below and if you want some solar lights, if you like solar lights as much as I do. That's nice. So I shut up out here nice. So just enough. Yeah. I like it. It's time to finish up these garden beds for you guys. Day yep. two of it, so. Get them put together, then we can go get some compost and fill them up. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Let's get these free garden beds done. Yep, and then we will plant stuff because it's time to plant. Mm -hmm. Let's go.
love my baby chainsaw. <laughs> All right, guys, we had a good day working on the raised garden beds. Uh, we have all the posts in, all the sides done, as you saw, and then we lined it with the uh, plastic so the dirt doesn't fall out, and we want to keep the wood from rotting, from having dirt pressed against it all the time. Mm -hmm. We'll probably cut the ends off and stuff and, you know, clean it up a little bit, but this is the general idea. There you go, guys. So you happy with what we accomplished today? Yep, we got some nice raised beds in. Now so. we just gotta fill it with compost. Well, thanks for tuning in for today's video. Yep, and uh, tune into the next video for filling this and planting some of the garden. Yes. We're excited to get going. So. Thanks guys, as always, like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Yep. Let us know what you think. Yep. What do we you guys think? We did a good job with these beds. Didn't cost us a penny. Yep. We took that picnic table apart and used all the material from that. That was the scrap wood and all the millings from the sawmill. So we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye. Best wishes. Bye. Good evening on tonight's episode of What's Cooking for Dinner with Jay and Jen. We are having spaghetti squash pizza. Super easy to make, super delicious. We've had this quite a few times with some friends and they gave us a recipe so we're making it ourselves now. Super easy, cut up a spaghetti squash. Got it. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it with some seasoning and then we're gonna stick it on the grill and they're gonna cook for about 45 minutes and we'll show you the rest once that's done all right Guys, I don't have cookie sheets here yet. So you put them face down. Again, we're going to stick this on top of the grill. There we go. We'll close this up. Let it cook for about 45 minutes and then I'll show you the rest. Next, when you make the spaghetti squash pizza, you gotta cook some sausage. We like to use turkey sausage. It's a little more lean and such. 
so that way we can enjoy bacon and stuff, you know, when we enjoy it. <laughs> but the turkey sausage is really good, so I'm cutting it up. Jason moved him up to the top. Beautiful day out, guys, isn't it? Gotta bring him back out here to warm up a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Yep, because we gotta melt the cheese and stuff. So we should grill on. All right. We made these before, but we didn't make them. They weren't called pizza squash. They were just spaghetti squash with spaghetti sauce in them. Yeah. A little bit of pasta sauce. Go a little lighter on mine. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Red pepper flakes too, guys. There you go. Alright, close the cook. All the cheese is kind of melted. Good job. Teamwork. One's mine. I think the one on the left. Mmm. <laughs> yum yum, eh? Yum yum. Thanks for tuning in for another What's Cooking with Jay and Jen. <laughs> I just decided today. That's what we're going to call it. Good stuff. All right, guys, we're going to eat these and enjoy our evening. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Have a good day. Best wishes, guys. <laughs>